so excited to take the kids trick-or-treating tonight. Maisie wanted to be a ballerina, Wesley's gonna be a clownfish, and Flynn is going to be a cuttlefish. My costume is undecided. I have so many costumes this year for Halloween that I don't even know which one to be. I think it's gonna depend on how the weather feels tonight, if it's hot, if it's cold, if I'm overwhelmed and overstimulated at that point, if I'm gonna even want to wear a crazy costume or if I'm just gonna wanna wear regular clothes. But look at what I just got. Look at this little dress. So this is not her costume. This is just a cute dress I found. I thought maybe she'd wear it for her birthday coming up. She loves it, but she hasn't tried it on yet. Look at the bottom frills. Are you kidding? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I need to put it on her and see how it looks. Before uh, we do trick-or-treating, I have something else that's kind of spooky dooky that I'm doing today that I need to tell you guys about. So basically, I am getting my brain looked at in more depth. I'm not gonna go too much into it until I know more about it and if I'm actually gonna do it, but it's just a different type of like brain therapy and supposedly it can help a lot with anxiety, ADHD, depression. My anxiety has been bad and it causes me to have like physical symptoms that are pretty horrible. So I'm doing this like brain scan thingy and we're gonna see what's actually wrong with my noggin. Like what is actually wrong with me? Like they could scan my brain and be like, oh, she's a genius. They could also scan my brain and be like, she's a sociopath. I don't know, it's kind of exciting and fun. Let's see what's wrong with me. I'm sure a lot of people are excited to know. Well, a lot of people, will already tell me what I am, but now science and brain scans are gonna actually tell us what is actually wrong with me. Okay, I just finished my meeting with my neurotherapy session thingy, and I'm excited to scan my brain and see what's going on. I thought that maybe that would happen today, but it's not happening today. Today was just like the initial consultation, but they're gonna be reading my brain's parts very soon and tell me everything that's wrong with my brain and hopefully help me to be able to function a little bit more normally in society. But I have a package I wanna open. Balloons for the twins' birthday party. Ciao! So, I have a couple hours till we're going trick-or-treating, and I really wanted to put on my Waiting for Guffman costume. I have a Waiting for Guffman costume. It's my favorite movie of all time, and I want to dress up like Corky St. Clair. And I want to, like, film all these videos with it and stuff, and I was going to take the next couple of hours to do that, but instead, I think I just want to hang out with my kids. It's a holiday, and I've just been working so much. It's been kind of an intense, emotional day for me, and I don't really want to just put on a costume and be alone. Like, I want to be with my kids on a holiday, you know? So, I'm just going to wait and do that maybe after we go to sleep. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it tonight, but if not, I do my Halloween costume the next day. It is what it is. Who cares? I just want to go with my kids, so that's what I'm gonna go do, okay? We're gonna make cookies! You want some sprinkles? I like sprinkles in my hand. Flynn, you wanna help us put sprinkles on these? You pick up a ball, and you dip it in the sprinkles, and then you put it back on the tray, okay? Squish it so you get a lot of sprinkles on it. I did this one. There you go. That's perfect. Yeah, squish it on. Flynn mm. had a crazy idea to do a trick. So we're gonna put a pickle in one of the cookies and give it to Daddy. He'll just see the sprinkles. Mm -hmm. That'll be very tricky. Just put it like this. I thought he would only there. see the sprinkles. He will, don't worry. Okay, say bye bye cookie, see you in a minute. Bye cookie! Bye cookie! One of these has a pickle in it. You have to make sure he takes the right one. Here's your cookie, Dad. Here's your cookie. Trick, you can't see anything in here, can you? Yeah. But saran wrap. See if he comes. You think he's gonna come? See, look, there's nothing here. Yeah, just walk into the kitchen. Yeah, see, there's nothing here, right? Yeah, just walk in the kitchen. <laughs> about to get dressed to go trick-or-treating. I just remembered, Rachel and I announced that we're doing this podcast on Patreon today, just a little eight-week special for the holidays. That's what this wall is behind me, and we're really excited about it. But I vlogged a little bit the night that we filmed the first episode, and I forgot to put that in the vlog yesterday, so I'm gonna put it in right now. But if you're interested in listening to our podcast, you can go check out the Patreon. There's also other tiers on it. Oh, my little Daisy. Should I be Daisy for Halloween? Daisy, can I be you for Halloween? I have 30 minutes. I don't think I have time to make a daisy costume, but now I really want to. 
Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, so anyone can listen to the podcast for free, but if you wanna watch the podcast, it's like a tear and then you almost just knocked over my Gatorade girl. And I've been editing and working on like other stuff that's the behind the scenes stuff of the Patreon, like that you can get if you go on other levels and other tiers, like behind the scenes vlogs and bloopers and singing videos and stuff like that. We filmed the first podcast episode and it is so, like I'm having so much fun editing it. It is so funny because we're just so dumb. Like we talk about so many things, but we talk about nothing. Anyone who's already signed up for the Patreon, thank you so much. We're gonna work really, really hard to make sure, okay, Daisy, really? <laughs> God, Daisy. We really appreciate anyone who's chosen to support our little fun project for the holidays. It's honestly just an excuse for us to hang out and have fun and laugh. And I haven't had this much fun like working on something. Oh my God, Daisy, in a very long time. It's been really, really fun to like work on. Daisy. <laughs> I'm gonna go, because Daisy doesn't want me to vlog apparently. But I'm gonna show you that vlog footage from the night that we filmed the episode. Okay, bye. Oh my God. Look what is happening. I don't even know. I'm so excited. Like a month ago, Rachel came to me and was like, would you ever consider like maybe doing a Patreon? And I was like, I don't know. Because I've been on her podcast and she'd been on my podcast a few times and people seem to really enjoy it and we love doing it together. Like we have so much fun doing it together. But the idea of starting a whole new podcast seems overwhelming. What channel would we put it on? Would we make a whole new YouTube channel? Like how would it even work? And we'd have to deal with like, I don't know. Just just like a lot and so she pitched the idea of doing it as a patreon and I was like hey if you set all that stuff up I will do whatever you want that sounds so fun if I get to hang out with you every week I don't care I'll do anything like that sounds so fun so we're just gonna do like a little special it's just for eight weeks it's a little patreon special for eight weeks an eight week episode podcast I'm vlogging why'd you look at me like I was a freak as if you've never seen someone vlog in your life you couldn't figure out how to say eight weeks <laughs> I was a hard word I'm so excited I've been working on this cute little set how cute is this it's gonna be so much fun. And so we're just here, we're about to do the first episode, but first we have to eat Taco Bell because priorities. Yeah. We're literally leaving in 10 minutes. I don't know what I'm wearing still. I'm just putting finishing touches on Flynn's cuttlefish costume that I made. Some of the stripes needed to be hot glued down a little bit better. There's hot glue all over this thing. Oh my God. I could wear the Princess Diana Beanie Baby costume, but I haven't even tried on my Waiting for the Girlfriend costume yet. I'm just gonna see if it even fits. Okay, sure. And pants are gone. Oh my God. I've been wanting to have this costume. <gasps> the static electricity on this sweater vest is wild. Oh, it's a horrific feeling. Oh, why do I want to put it on my head? Ugh. Oh my god, it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I'm so excited about this. Oh, should I wear this? The problem is like no one will know what I am. Like everyone's gonna be like, what the heck? I more just wanted to wear this costume to make funny videos with, like to put on my Instagram and stuff. I didn't think I was gonna wear it. I'm trick-or-treating with the kids. Oh my god, the static electricity. Ugh. I don't know. It's pretty great, but I feel like I still have more work to do on it because I still have to style the wig more. I have to do facial hair and I don't I don't know, with the kids, I just feel like it's a little too cumbersome. I might just wear my Princess Diana Beanie Baby costume. Or Maisie wanted to be matching with me as ballerinas, so I could just do that with her, but I don't know. I should have thought this through a little bit more. I gotta figure out a costume. Okay, bye. Look at you guys, are you ready for trick or treating? Wes, are you clownfish? Yeah. Look at the beautiful princess! I'm a ballerina. Yeah, ballerina princess, right? Last minute costume change idea. Eric wanted to be the Royal Tenenbaums characters that we were going to be last year, and then we decided not to do it. So we are wearing matching costumes. Well, not matching, but from the same movie. What's your Katrina? This wig is going to last about two more seconds. I am over it. I like the costumes. Look at we match. See, I need to prove that we're matching in a couple costume, but this wig's coming off, man. I'm not wearing this wig much longer. The wig is off. Couldn't do it. How long was the wig on me? Three seconds. <laughs> Our home sorting through candy. Is that what you want to pick? Do you want to open this one? This yeah. one I want to pick. That's the one you want to pick? <laughs> Flynn, what are you going to pick? Uh, Are you just organizing right now? Yeah. That's exciting. These are yours. Yes. 
Thank you, Flynn. I like the nuts. Oh my, I am toastada.com. Whoa, the bangs are thin and wispy tonight. I did not get a single picture of me and Eric in our matching costumes, and I am so tired. That was so stressful. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real for a minute, and maybe I will regret this. Trick or treating is more fun as a memory than it is in the moment. Like, I remember last year being fun, but then tonight I remembered, oh, was it fun? <laughs> the kids had a blast and that is all that matters. Like, I'm so glad they had fun, but also I feel like it kind of was similar to them where it's like, there's a lot of walking. They're very young. It's a little scary going up to like new houses you don't know, around people you don't know. There's people walking around in strange costumes. It's all a lot. But you know, we started trick-or-treating at dinner time and we tried to feed the kids dinner, but it was a little too early for them to eat. So they didn't eat enough dinner food because they weren't really hungry for dinner yet. So halfway through trick-or-treating, they started to get a little bit grumpy because they're hangry and girl, same, like I feel that. But like, it just felt very stressful and overwhelming, overstimulating. Everyone was exhausted, a little bit grumpy, a little bit hungry in clothes that aren't your normal everyday clothes. No one complained about their costumes, but like they're wearing a clownfish and a tutu and tights and a cuttlefish stuffed animal on their head. Like that's not the clothes that they're used to. So, you know, that can be overstimulating and uncomfortable. We drove to a friend's neighborhood. And so when we were done trick-or-treating, we all got in the car to go home. And Eric and I just like sat in the front seat and we're like, but yeah, it was just stressful. But then we got home and the kids went through all their candy and they were so excited and they were talking about how much fun they had. And then I was looking at all the pictures and the videos that we took and I was like, oh my gosh, that was so fun. <laughs> so I think like you kind of forget the stressful part of it and you just remember the fun part of it, which is good. But like in the moment of it tonight, I was like, is this not fun? So yeah, I could sit here and lie to you and be like, it was really fun, we had a blast. And it, that wouldn't be a lie because we did. We did have fun, it was great, and I'm so glad we went, and it's gonna be wonderful memories forever. But I'm also gonna tell the other part of the truth too, which is that it was kind of stressful and overwhelming and not very fun at times. Like there are a few moments where I was like, how much longer, how many more houses do we have to do? I don't know, am I making any sense or does no one agree with me? Is this a hot take that I shouldn't have said out loud? I can also guarantee that a year from now, I'm gonna forget that I felt stressed and overwhelmed and didn't think it was very fun in the moment, and I'm just gonna remember it being the best night ever and us having so much fun and it was so cute. Like that's what I'm gonna remember. Honestly, I'll probably feel like that tomorrow. I'll feel like that in a week. I felt like that tonight, but I'm just saying the other part of it too right now. Anyway, I'm very tired, but I'm going to edit a little bit and I'm going to hopefully try to make my other Halloween costume work, even though it's past Halloween at this point, there's no point in me doing it and then posting it tomorrow, but I still might try. I'm so tired, I might not. I really wanted to do it, dang it. I could always save it for next year. I'm so tired. And I have a lot of editing to do because I'm editing this vlog and I'm also editing another like behind the scenes vlog for the podcast and our first episode comes out on Monday. I don't think we ever said that, but our first episode comes out on Monday, this Monday. So that's November 4th. So I'm working on that too. So there's a lot to edit, which is very exciting and fun. And Eric is texting me that he wants to order some Taco Bell. So um, hello, love of my life. Yes. Happy Halloween, everyone. Did you have a good Halloween? How are you? What were you for Halloween? Tell me all the things. All right. See you guys later. Me, you know, right out of the Navy, you know, fresh off a destroyer uh, with a dance belt and a tube of chapstick, basically, you know, not really much to call my own. I just hate you and I hate your ass face. and say, no way, Corky, you're not putting up with these people. And I'll tell you why I can't put up with you people, because you're bastard people. That's what you are, you're just bastard people and I'm going home and I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite my pillow is what I'm gonna do.